Key and the crew. My man, Mr. Foreplay. Yeah, Both yeah. Battle Wheels are still. Yeah, yeah. Ray Love in the building doing yeah, the shit. Shout, shout out, Mr. Clean, man. What up, Clean? I wish you were saying Clean. <laughs> nah, you need this right here. Listen, we talking about black man. We talking about black man right here. I respect Mr. Clean. He wanted to change his life. He said, you know what? I'm going to put a lot of work in. I'm going to go back to school and whatnot. He's out tonight because he's handling some school business. I right. respect that. Do your thing. Responsibility. Do your thing. Do your thing. But the behind the scenes, only thing. Like people always say what a man is, a man handles his responsibilities point back, point blank. Not really. really. Not really. He had, that's what a man is. See, I mean, you got see our uh, man. See, we have the greatest conversations behind the scenes because because a lot of people will give you a list through one through one thousand what a man. Is. But how you gonna tell somebody what a, what a man is? Not how you gonna let somebody say you're not a man? If you're not handling, what? if you're not handling responsibility, so you're no longer a man. You're a male. You're of the male species, <laughs> but you're not a man. Based on what responsibility? So, I, I that's, you know, that was in the conversation. Let's ask another one. Well, yeah, you just, just want to fight me, though. I don't want to fight you. I just avoided the fight. I want to fight this brother back here. Oh, shit. <laughs> because we got beat. No, because, no, behind the scenes, we were talking about, you know, some of the skills that we may need in order to, you know, handle our business in, you know, different arenas and different, um, you know, environments, you know, social environments and whatever, you know, and the brother made a statement, and I wanted to challenge that because I think, because, uh, we, you know, I always talk about this to everybody, I say that sometimes the dysfunction, um, the misogyny, the, uh, the racism, the self-hatred is so... Uh, ingrained into our experience and so ingrained into our lives and our environment that we don't even realize when we're a part of it, you know? And so what the brother had made a statement, he said, you know, I'm, I'm, you can represent yourself in a second, but let me set it up. What I heard the brother say was, for quote, he said, yo, after you, re after you reach a certain age, you got no way of breaking the mic. After you reach a certain age, you ain't got no rights wearing braids. <laughs> what do you, 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 you say? What do you say? I think if you want to quote me, you got to at least quote me right. You, what you, know you say? Yeah. What, what, what I was saying is that th there's a, in this society. Oh, yeah. You're going to qualify. No, do the quote first and then qualify. Well, <laughs> well I'm not going to. Get politically correct. What I said was when I see a certain cat, cats at a certain age and they still have braids in their head, I, I don't think that they're moving forward. That, that, you know, to quantify what I said, but on, on a larger level, I think as men, you have to grow and you can't continue to do the same things that you do when, when you're 20, when you're 30, 40, et cetera, et cetera. And, and I think what you were trying to challenge was whether or not, the, you know, he shouldn't wear braids. But that's what you said. I'm saying is that you have to, in this life, in this circle of life, in this culture, mm -hmm. You have to take steps and be progressive in, in a certain sense. Progressive okay, but, but or informed. But what I'm saying is that the, the words that you're using, those are judgment words, right? You're saying progressive. The opposite, progressive has a value, right? It's moving forward, it's really right? Yeah. So automatically by saying that, you're saying that the, that the thing you're talking about is not moving forward. It's stagnant or it's moving backwards, right? And so what I'm saying is based on that, Right, where are you getting that from? It's just a hairstyle, right? So my point behind the scenes was like, why are we focusing on dumb shit like that? Because that's what we do a lot of times. Like we look at the youngsters and we say, oh, look at the way you dress, look at the way you talk, look at the way you, you, you wear your hair, look at this, and we dismiss them automatically, right? Instead of saying, because if we remember, when we were young, our parents did that to us. They hated everything we did. The way we talked, the music we listened to, the way we wore our parents, everything. We just, and they dissed us up. And that created a rift between us and them that we couldn't communicate with them. It was, it was automatically a negative thing. on a daily basis. Yeah, but I'm saying it shouldn't. I'm saying it shouldn't go on. You know what? You know what? It's, it's, I just think that um, some things fall into uh, certain uh, categories. Uh, in time, you know, and some things are more accepted um, in the workplace. And being that the workplace is where we got to get our bread to survive, right. you know, we kind of got to adhere to, you know, like the whole thing with the dreads back in the days, like, you know, like now you can't work at this company and now you go on Madison Ave and you see people wearing dreadlocks. To the you know, with yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did that, why'd that happen? I mean, I, I just think that a lot of people probably just no. You know what? They pushed it. it, it I mean, it became cool. people, it wait, wait. No. Fashion. I mean, it, it became popular, but then also, you know, money was on the table. Yeah, uh, lawsuits, yeah. right? But the discrimination. Point, the point so, was the point was that people didn't conform. They said, "I'm going to challenge this, and we're going to move it forward." 
That's what I'm saying. I, I, right? I, think, I, think, I think as a whole, like, you know what I mean? If you look at it from a cultural standpoint, like, in the mainstream, it became something more visible. Like, you know what I'm saying? More culturally normal. That's one thing. Right. But something I was saying earlier, like, you know, and I just want to repeat this point because I think it's very essential to all our survivors. You know, I was talking about, you know, I didn't introduce myself. My name is Corby. You know, I'm a good friend of my brother Marlon right here. What's Corby? What up? What up? Yeah, yeah. Corby. Like, Corby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the, the point I was bringing was like, you know, culture is an extremely component. It's an extremely important component of our identity. Like, to not have culture and to move in this space is like being blind. You have to, culture is sort of like a compass in a lot of That's ways. Right. Right. So one of the things I'm saying is like, for any person, I don't care if you're 55 years old, and you want to express your identity through wearing braids or wearing your Nazi or doing something, like, you know, I think you have to know the parameters of how this world works. Right. Like, it's very simple, like, you know what I mean? Like, I was saying a point earlier, a lot of youth right now, the very language that's required for you to get employment, a lot of you, 25 year olds, I've, I've worked with them, you know what I mean? Formerly incarcerated or never incarcerated, just never properly employed by anything outside of the Starbucks or whatever. The very elements of language required to do something as simple as fill out a, you know, just conversation they lack, you know what I mean? And they might have mastered hood, street knowledge, street knowledge and street communication which if you look at it in terms of counting words, like how many words are used in a in the hood, it's a smaller number than the type of words you would use outside the hood, you know what I mean? And you know, you get language of course. Mm, you gotta be careful with that. Um, I'm, I'm, you gotta I'm, be I, careful with that. I don't think... I, gotta, there's, there's a funny argument, when you talk about language, you talk, you talk about linguistics. I'm talking about linguistics. Like yeah. You just start talking about words and how uh -huh. we have multiple, we have, mm -hmm. one, we have several words that mean multiple different mm -hmm. things and whatnot, so, mm -hmm. and you can talk about how the language we develop in our neighborhoods and whatnot, mm -hmm. within a couple of years, become mainstream language. Mm -hmm. you, now hear, you now hear people in corporate America saying, my bad, and shit like that. So, see, that's what I'm saying, that sometimes we start Start talking about our experience and our culture and that and we, we start painting certain pictures of but, it. Because no, the brother's not, talking about in the job. Generalized though, that, that's the problem. I, I, I think like we have to have these discussions about of course, of course. Like, about thought and process and, and, and change. And, and yes, yeah, some of the some of what happens in our neighborhoods does seep into the mainstream culture. But that's that's part of being aware of what, what's happening around See, us. The point I was bringing, like, for real, if you were to do, and you know, I don't want to veer off into this whole linguistic thing, I think if we were to take like a little experimentation on, on our own and to have some type of thing where we're tallying the language that is used in the hood amongst youth of a certain age or young adults of a certain age, right. you will notice that the word count, like the different words that are used, it doesn't really, it's not like, yo, it's, it's not, it's not, it's, not it's limited. So they don't have as much vocabulary. They don't have as much okay. vocabulary. So. What happens is, and I've done a lot of hardcore jobs. I used to work in a program for formerly incarcerated youth where we gave them like job training skills. Yo, we would do mock job interviews with them and the way they were just so nervous, this, this whole conversation, some of them wanted to walk out the door like, yo, screw this, this is not for me. Because it's almost like, for instance, some people might not like what I'm about to say, but it's, it's, it, I think there's some validity to it. You'll be on the train and you'll hear people cursing, cursing, cursing as in their communication is because their language, they don't know how to express it's this. Limited. Outside of that, limited, limited, limited. Right, right, like, right. But I mean, again, we part, we part of some of these, we, we started, it's interesting, we started this whole conversation with these two brothers here because we were talking about painting our experience and our, our, uh, our identity differently. Right? Because you're right, I see that on the train, right? And that's a problem, and that's stuff you have to deal with. I see that in some of the youngsters, whatever. At the same time, I live in Brooklyn, right? I hang out downtown Brooklyn, I hang out in Bed Stuy, I hang out with whatever, right? I see cats who look like me, who look like you, who look like that, who have braids, who have, who dress certain, who talk with a certain slang, whatever, and they're making money, not yeah, yeah. illegally, right? They're sure. entrepreneurs, sure. right? They're yeah. media experts, sure. right? They work in the entertainment industry. Sure. Um, they're coders, they're designers. Fuck it, I got locked, you know what I mean? Some of them so, are educators. You know what I'm saying? So, I, but my point is like, this, this, so you can take those two people who are dressed exactly the same, wearing the same hip hop gear, the same hairstyles, or whatever, and they're, they're, they're at two different points in their lives, right? So it must, since they're wearing the same things, right? It can't be the, 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 the expression, right? It must 
be something deeper than that, right? It's the education and it's the, the, the capacity for, for them to, to grow. Yeah. So what I'm saying, let's focus on that. Let's stop looking at these users saying what you're doing is bad or, or how, how you're expressing yourself is negative. Let me finish. How you're expressing yourself is negative, right? Let's get off of that because we close the door right, right away. Because you know as an adult, if somebody starts talking to you and they start complaining and telling you what you're doing is wrong, you shut down on automatic. Shut down. They don't, shut down. They don't, they don't, they don't, that's they don't what they do. They shut down. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, teach, let's say, all right, I, I feel what you're doing. Like that was saying, where you bend down? I don't give you. I'm going to teach you these skills, though. Mm -hmm. Because if you want to make this if you want to make this type of money, you want to be in this type of world or whatever, you need to learn how to talk, yeah. how to move, or whatever. But not because not what you're doing is bad. You got to wear this. Every job, every every place has a costume. Of course. Learn how to rock that costume. Learn how to talk Adapting that language. Adapting environment. Right. right. Exactly. Right. So let's teach, them, let's teach them adaptability. That's all I'm saying. That, and and I, I agree with you. You know and what I mean? I, I, I believe that's all that we're trying to, um, you know, that's the big point that we're all trying to get mm -hmm. across. Is that you, you have to teach skills, and, and, and in order to teach skills, you gotta. So, some people, like we, we all like to send our messages, but nine times out of ten, if, if that person on the other side isn't receiving the message, then we're, we're at the same place we where we really start. Yeah. But uh, let's close out the show. Let's get back into some more music. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Com. Let's go. You can come back. Oh yeah, give Bria a shout out. We can come back. Right? Yeah, homie. <laughs> yeah. We had a lot of great discussions going on tonight. We want to close out with everybody giving their information where people could check your websites and follow up on what what we had going on tonight. Right, right, right. Yeah, man. <laughs> this was something great, man. This is what this is what Forefathers Project is all about, man. It's about creating that dialogue between fathers, between men. Right. What we did, what we did tonight. This is this, this is it. Yeah. This is what we need in our community. This is what we need in our circle. This is what we really need. Exactly. So, um, to get more of it, you can just check out forefathersproject.org. F O R fathersproject.org. You know, and sign up for the newsletter. Submit some articles. Submit some photographs that you and your kids, you and your children. And you know, let's keep it going. Let's keep let's keep the dialogue going. Let's, let's let's just continue, man. We need we need inspiration. We need support. Right. You you Instagram pictures of your kids all the time. Uh -huh. Your kids. Bring it to this website. Exactly. Inspire the nation. Exactly. Word up, man. Inspire the nation. You know, um, just be active in your community. You know. Um, just want to say thanks for having me. Yo, y'all can come back anytime. Man. I've been touching on so many topics. Yeah, we, need to, we, need to, we need to be here. We have yeah. an open door policy. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> from, it ain't got to be no theme. That's like love. That. I, I always tell people, I want this to feel like back in the days you go to your man's house and listen to hip hop on, on his mom's couch. We just come in here and kick right. it. And, you know, this, this community right. radio, we don't care. We got a sponsor. This, this, is, the new, this is the new Big Mama's house. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so um, check out Hoods to Woods. Dot com. Uh, check us out. Make a donation. Uh, volunteer. We need more volunteers. So uh, get involved. My, my, my question. My question to both of you guys: How do you stay inspired? Right, Being that right, you right. have your own lives to live, how do you stay inspired to wake up every day and do what you do? Because I, I know yeah. a lot of people who want to get involved. They struggle with that. How do I get involved? But damn, I gotta do what I gotta do. No, it's, it's, it's just real simple. Um, just do something that you love and you got that love and passion. Right. You know, okay. that's the fire, man. That, that thing keeps you going. Mm -hmm. Like, if there's no money involved, but you got that love and it's something that, that, that's true to your heart, right. you, you stick to that and it's like, you just gonna go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, with, the, with that passion, you gotta have the desire, man, because passion kind of dies out, to me, in a sense. Desire is what, is what really, it's everlasting, it stands forever. Cause you have that that fire burning within you to do so. Mm. So with me doing Four Fathers Project, I have that desire. For one, I'm a, I'm a father. You know what I'm saying? I'm an uncle. Shout out to my niece Elijah, Elijah P. You know what I'm saying? And um, just other fathers inspire me, man. That's that that's what keeps me going, man. Seeing the other families do their thing, it makes me want to do my thing and be a better father. So dope, yeah, so. So again, I come to your time. Right. This is the block. The block. Yo, look. <laughs> Go on Facebook and like The Block Radio's Facebook page. Support, support what we doing here. I mean, because I put up a status yeah, and, and the people like the status, but they don't like going to the link. Exactly. Like the so the link. Yo, uh, get more yo information, listen, more on some marketing, yo, the both of y'all, I respect y'all a lot because both of y'all, your programs, 
and both your, um, your, F, your, your Facebook pages got thousand plus users. Exactly. I don't know if people know it's real hard to get people to go and like that page or whatnot. Yeah, you yeah. got a campaign. I know if you're a campaign, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You got to put in work. I respect both of y'all for getting to that milestone. Right. Right. We got to we gotta put that work in. But it's not just us, it's the people, man. That's that's who's running this whole thing. Both of our projects that we're doing, man. Right, right. So but the that's people, we need y'all. Can't do it by yourself. No block, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every we, Monday. Give, listen, we giving you guys this content, man. We love the music, but you know, <coughs> They say it's deeper than rap, man. Listen, the rap comes from someplace, right? It's from somebody. Yeah, it, it doesn't exist. It comes from the struggle, man. It, it comes, comes from, from the people. From yeah. The day to day struggle. Yeah. It don't come from corporate America. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Every Monday, Every 7 30 to 9 30, Beatbox Radio, yeah, live yeah, stream. Man. Shout out to guys. shout out to Bree Brooklyn. She here taking yeah. video. She here taking pictures. Doing the damn thing. She's uh, Photographer, man, officially. Right. Our, our Filmmaker. Our, um, a story. Oh, yeah, she don't put together a nice documentary on the block. You or two. Word. Read Brooklyn. Follow her on Facebook. Follow her on Wait, Instagram. Can I, can I, can I? She's a lot of food, man. She shows up a lot of pictures of food. All right. All right, all right, all right. Appreciate Thanks. everybody for coming out. Yes. This is the block radio on bbox.com. Salute. So when's it coming cause the stakes is high See big money to wage Don't put the pen to my page It ain't nothing wrong to standing still or relax And spending some of that cash That Uncle Sam is gonna tax A New York demeanor slid back in the Beamer With nothing to lose but some gas and some minutes Ignoring the gazes cause stars don't get petty And that trash they talk is just New Year's confetti It's like that y'all But that's all got to change Like some of my own people tend to act strange I'm baking the scene and I'm serving with the capabilities so set it at an island of green. The strong island for real. Diagnosis is supreme. Prefix is 516 with microphones. Free.